After my recent AFL23 Guernseys video, a few of you asked if I could show how I made some of these Guernseys. So in this video, I'm going to take you through AFL23's Guernsey Creator. Starting out with the basics, then we'll cover some of the built-in designs, and then we'll go into the more complex stuff that make custom Guernsey designs possible. And I'll also show you how I made three of my Guernseys. So this is your blank Guernsey template. Nothing too complex here. You can change the color of the jumper, the shorts, socks, number panel, and the collar, which also changes the color of the cuffs around the arms. When you bring up the color palette, you can scroll down to these squares at the bottom and hit L3 to bring up the color wheel and create any custom color you want. You can also change the Guernsey style. So if you want a sleek modern color, you can have that, or you can have something that looks a little bit more old school, which is great for creating retro jumpers. And if you'd like to see me make a video about how I make some retro Guernseys and play retro seasons in AFL 23, let me know in the comments below. The game comes with some Guernsey designs built into the game to get you started. This includes basic designs like hoops, V's and sashes, and team specific designs like Frio's Anchor, both the 90s and 2000s version, Hawthorne's Retro Hawk, and West Coast Swooping Eagle, just to name a few. If you go down to these Guernsey pattern options, you can choose some of these designs that can be recolored to anything you want. So if you want to see Gold Coast Wave Jumper in red and black, you can do that. What's cool about these designs is you can combine different elements to create something unique. So you could combine stripes and a V to create something like this. So now we get to the really good stuff, using logos to create custom Guernseys. If you scroll down to this section that says select logos, you can add up to eight logos to your Guernsey, and even more can be added to the shorts and socks. If you select this icon here, it'll take you to this screen where you'll see all the logos in your game. While the game comes pre-installed with a bunch of fake logos, you can download more from the community, and there are a whole ton of different sponsor logos and Guernsey elements available. So let's take a look at how I made this Adelaide Guernsey. This design is pretty much all logos. We start out with a navy blue Guernsey with a gold collar. The first element are these stripes, which are all one logo. These were ones I made using the in-game logo creator, and it took way too long. The logo creator is capable of some great things, but it is a bit of a hassle to use, at least on consoles. So avoid using it if you can. So we'll scale these stripes up and put them on a diagonal slant. The next element is this crow logo, which can be found in the community. This logo was uploaded by a user called Called New Age Reporting, who has done some awesome stuff with sponsor logos and Team Guernsey elements. Type their username into the community search bar to see all these logos, which will be really handy when creating custom Guernseys. You can combine Guernsey patterns and logos to create your designs. This is how I created this Frio Guernsey, starting out with a white base jumper. This one required a little creative thinking, so you go down to the Guernsey pattern options and choose the modern Frio anchor. Both the anchor and the chest panels should be made purple, and there you have the base of the design. From here you go to the select option and choose a white Frio anchor, which can also be found in the community. And that's basically it. You can also use basic shape logos to create unique Guernsey designs, like I did for this North Melbourne Guernsey. The base Guernsey is blue with some vertical pinstripes and a kangaroo logo in the center of the jumper. What makes this blue top half possible is actually a blue square logo which I made in the logo creator and I've just placed that underneath the kangaroo so it covers the stripes and makes the top half of the Guernsey look empty. Other elements like sponsor logos, the AFL emblem and the Guernsey manufacturer logo are all just logo elements as well which you can either create yourself in the logo creator or find on the community. 